is up guys I'm daddy gamer Fred with a quick tip video for Pokemon Sword and Shield on how to keep a in-game event such as the shiny magic carp increase rate in raid dens inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield way after the event has happened. All you gotta do is once the event is live in your game, update your raid dens to have that event start so you can participate and go on the hunt for whatever Pokemon that event is currently promoting. So in this case, it is Shiny Magikarp. We have a Shiny Magikarp increase rate at raid dens and I'm standing in front of a raid den and as you can see, it's my boy Magikarp. Now I don't know if this is a shiny one however but it is Magikarp and Magikarp is at a greater is at a greater spawn rate during this Magikarp shiny Magikarp anyway event that's going on so again to show you guys that um wait what's a good way to I think just the time and date on my system console is the great way but yeah as you can see it's 12 17 a.m. on the 5th and I believe the event was over yesterday. Let me just um, go down to my settings. Where would be my, um, there we go, date time. As you can see, current date is 1, 5, 2020, 12 a.m. in the morning. And again, I just wanted to show you guys that, yeah, you can keep the event live in your game as long as you want, as long as you don't update the raid dens. What I mean by that is going into a mystery gif and basically connecting online and updating your raid ends. I'm collected online. I've been surprise trading as well. I saved my game a couple of times and I, again, I'm still able to participate and grab myself Magikarp and potentially shiny Magikarp. So my thing is, yeah, it's Magikarp. Why would you do this for Magikarp? Big whoop. But in the future, potentially, there are gonna be greater shiny Pokemon that they may increase or Gigantamax Pokemon that are actually gonna be valuable that they may increase. Same example for, again, if you wanted to catch that perfect Snorlax, that G-Max Snorlax, and you wanted a particular nature, you wanted the hidden ability, and the event time was dwindling, this would be a great way to jump in and to, to save the event and just basically grind it out until you get that perfect Pokemon that you want. Again, quick tip video showing you guys how to do this. And it's again, it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is just not do something. You just have to not update your raid dens after the event period has finished. Now, let me know your thoughts on this, guys. I'm pretty sure this is something easy and a lot of people just may overlook, but also, I just wanted to let you guys know that it is possible to keep an event such as a shiny Magikarp raid den increase rate event still going on in the game after the event has finished. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Let's talk about it. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so let's bring that conversation down there. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, so best believe I'm going to be doing a video probably tomorrow on a new topic for Pokemon Sword and Shield or probably a new game, depending on how I'm feeling. If you want to be notified the next time I drop a video, ring the bell. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. It puts the video over and to recommend it so other people can check out the video. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Sword and Shield video. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.